Although on average there's only one big supernova in each galaxy every century, there hasn't been one in the Milky Way since the birth of modern science. The last was in 1604, so we're long overdue. Astronomers are now searching the skies for the star that is the most likely to go supernova. Amongst the leading candidates, there's a familiar name. This is Betelgeuse in the constellation of Orion. And we know it's extremely unstable because it has dimmed by about 15% in the past decade. Astronomers think that this star could go supernova at any moment. That could mean any time in the next million years. But equally, it could explode tomorrow. And Betelgeuse is only 600 light years away. So when it goes, Betelgeuse will be incredibly bright. It will be by far the brightest star in the sky. It may shine as brightly as a full moon. It will be almost a second sun in the daylight. In this single instant, Betelgeuse will release more energy than our sun will produce in its entire lifetime. As the star is torn apart, it will fire out into space all the elements that it has created in its life and death. Those elements will spread out to become a nebula, a rich chemical cloud drifting through space. At the heart of the nebula will be a tiny beacon of light, the remnant of a star that was once more than a billion and a half kilometers across, but it has been crushed out of all recognition by gravity. This is Betelgeuse, the neutron star. And it is how this mighty star will end its life leaving the constellation of Orion changed forever. But the legacy of this star will be the immense cloud of dust and gas that it will spew out around it. But we don't have to wait for the end of Betelgeuse to see what happens to the remnants of the deaths of stars. In the same constellation, we can see the Orion Nebula 24 light years across, formed from past supernova explosions. <laughs> 